An airplane flew from Davao City whose latitude is 14 degrees north and longitude of 121.5 degrees east on a course of 30 degrees west of south and maintaining uniform altitude. At what longitude will the plane cross the equator? So say for example, this is our world map and this is our prime meridian where longitude is 0 degrees. This is the equator where latitude is 0 degrees. And this is Davao City at 14 degrees north and 121.5 degrees east. There is an airplane from Davao City flying at a course of 30 degrees west of south. So that is, if this is north, east, west, and south, so this angle is 30 degrees. So this is 30 degrees west of south. So your plane is from Davao City. It has a course of 30 degrees west of south and it crossed the equator at a certain point. The question is, what is the longitude of this point? So that is from here to here. Next is, let's draw our spherical triangle. And notice that if we draw a line from Davao City directly downward to the equator, this angle here is 90 degrees. So I have formed a right spherical triangle. So this is 30 degrees, this is 14 degrees, and this is 90 degrees. Let this be side C, side B, and angle A. So what we need to solve is this side A because our longitude is equal to 121.5 degrees minus A. And since this is a right spherical triangle, we can use the Napier's rule to solve for side A. So draw its body, its legs, its arms, and a big circle. This is C bar, A bar, B bar. Then alternating A's and B's, so A, B, A, B. And we know the value of B and angle A. A known side is side A. So as you can see, we can use the Sintan ad rule to solve for A. That is sine B is equal to tangent of its adjacents. So that is sine B is equal to tangent of A bar times tangent of A. So sine 14 degrees is equal to tangent of 90 minus 30 times tangent of A. So solving for A, you get 7.95 degrees. Therefore, longitude is equal to 121.5 minus 7.95 degrees. That is equal to 113.55 degrees east.